What's up everybody? Today we are going to learn how to use Python to take a video image and blur people's faces out. So we can have multiple people in the shot, so they can be up close to the camera, far behind, big or small, doesn't matter, and we can move around and it's just going to automatically blur our faces in just a few simple lines of code. So thanks for tuning in, let's check this out. So the first thing that we need to do is simply install CV2. So come into your terminal, whatever you're using. I'm currently using a uh, PyCharm project. So all you have to do, we're just gonna say pip install, open, if I can spell it correctly, open CV dash Python, hit enter. And I've already got that installed, so I don't need to do anything further, but that should take maybe about 30 seconds or so, depending on your internet speed. But once you have that, that should be it. So once that is installed, go ahead and import CV2 up here at the top of your project. And if I'm ever going too fast, feel free to pause the video and continue. You can also use YouTube's speed up or slow down controls if that helps you. So what I'm going to do now is now select the camera that I want to use for my project. So I want to use my web camera. So I'm going to say video equals CV2 dot video capture. Okay. And video capture takes an index your default camera, whatever your computer system is using as default will be zero. I do want to use my web camera, which is at index one. You can kind of mess with those later after you see the actual footage. But once we have that selected, we are now going to receive the accessibility and functionality of showing what is a face, what is not a face by accessing CV2's library. So we're gonna call this face cascade and I'm gonna say CV2 dot cascade classifier. And we're gonna cheat a little bit right here. I'm actually going to use some of their data to give us a more exact path of wherever their files are for identifying faces. So we're just gonna say CV2 dot data dot h a a r cascades and we're going to add that to a string h a a r cascade frontal face defaults dot xml will be the name of that file and now we are going to create a while loop, so while true, and we are going to use this loop to not only capture our video, but each image of our video, because I'm gonna be moving around and I want this to be having the, the blur all over my face wherever I'm at in my camera. I'm going to unpack everything from my video footage and put it into a single frame. So I'm gonna say success image equals video dot read and now i'm going to have this look for different sizes of faces so if i'm like super close and there's someone far back behind me it'll still capture our faces so i'm going to call this faces equals a face cascade so again it's going to be looking for a front face front facing face dot detect multi scale so we're going to give it the image so that's each frame. And I found these parameters to be pretty good. 1.3 comma four. So it's gonna be looking for those sizes. And once we do that, we are now going to blur each face. So I'm gonna say for the X and the Y, so the X, Y, height and width. Okay, X, Y, width, and height inside of faces. Let's make each of those faces blurry by saying ROI equals image. And let's use some square brackets. I'm gonna say Y is gonna be the Y plus the H. And then now a comma to separate these items. And then we're gonna do X is gonna be X 
plus the width. Now we're going to let it know how blurry. So we're going to say blur equals CV2 dot Gaussian blur, however you say that. I hear a lot of people say it differently. So ROI, and we're now going to give it a tuple, so parentheses, and we're going to give it two parameters. I'm going to say 99, comma 99, okay? And what this is going to be doing for us is saying how blurry. So I don't think it goes past 100 or past 99. So 100 and up, it's not going to work. So 99 will be the max. And you can lower these if you don't want to be as blurry as mine. So you can mess with those numbers later if you like, but for now we'll keep it as 99, cool. And the last thing for our for loop is we are going to now take that blurry box that's around your face, and we are now going to add it back to the original image so that we have both the original image and the blurred face in at the same time. And we're gonna be doing that by saying image, and just like we had up here, in fact, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it so I don't have any typos. And I'm gonna say that that is equal to blur. Very good. Now we're gonna come outside of our for loop. We're all done with the faces, but make sure you're staying inside the while loop. So only one tab into there. And now we are going to show the image to the user by using a window. And we use that by saying cv2 dot I am show. I am show. And if you're familiar with OpenCV, then this is a very typical thing. So we are going to name the window, I'll just call it blurred face. And then we are going to give it the image. And we want to give the user a little bit of functionality. So I'm gonna say, if the user clicks on the Q button on the keyboard, I want that window to close and then stop the program essentially. So I'm gonna say if cv2 dot wait key has a delay of one and this is gonna look weird but zero x f f is double equals two or d that's a string of q so essentially that's checking to see if the user types q on the keyboard you can change this to whatever you want. But if they do do that, let's break out of the loop. That will stop it. And we are going to now turn off the camera. So video dot release. And then once the video camera is off, we are now going to destroy the windows by saying cv2 dot destroy all windows. So that'll be the user's uh, window interface that comes up. So hopefully this works, I don't know yet. Let's hit run. Now you can't hear what I'm saying in this video because my Python had turned off my screen recording. But as you can see that I can move around and it, the blurriness just moves around. And you can see that it now is selecting multiple faces and I've got a big face and I got a small face. So this should be working with multiple faces, uh, whatever's in your camera shot. Okay, I think that was pretty awesome. So if you like that video and you want to see more with video capture, stuff like that in Python, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much and see you next time. Happy coding.